Hey everybody, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Thanks to all of our subscribers, our Facebook followers, and our Twitter followers. Now, let's go see Steve. Johnny. Tired Old Queen at the Movies? Johnny, I wanted to recommend a suspense movie, so I chose 1955's The Night of the Hunter, starring Robert Mitchum and Shelley Winters, and directed by the incomparable Charles Lawton. Basically, the plot of the story is this. Robert Mitchum plays a crook who's doubling up as a preacher during the Depression and working his way across the country. He's in search of the widow of a guy that he shared a jail cell with who was in for a bank robbery and eventually died. But before he died, he told in his sleep that he had not given up the money. So he knows that the money is still with the widow and her two kids. He finds the widow, Shelley Winters. He seduces her. He marries her, and he starts looking for that money. The son, the little boy, is wise to Mitchum right away and doesn't want anything to do with him. Doesn't matter! Circumstances happen without spoiling the plot that involve a murder, a chase, and the kids are on the run from Mitchum, who is out to kill him to get that money because the money, it turns out, is hidden in the little girl's doll as they make their way across the country. And eventually, they end up staying with a lonely widow, played by Lillian Gish, who has been taking in homeless depression children and raising them. And they are protected by her until Mitchum comes along. And that final confrontation is basically the whole movie. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on Jesus, leaning on Jesus, safe and secure from all along. This is probably the most malevolent character, aside from Cape Fear, that Robert Mitchum ever played. <laughs> This movie was sort of hailed by the critics, but nobody went to this movie. It's a very, very strange, and it has since become like one of the great cult suspense classics of all time. One of those movies that nobody ever thinks about remaking because they know they couldn't get it any better. Lawton was too sensitive and he took it very personally and unfortunately he never directed a movie again. But he had nothing but praise to say about Robert Mitchum. He said, you know, Robert Mitchum always acts like he didn't ever care about acting at all. And in reality, he cared very, very much and was one of the hardest working, most professional actors that he had ever worked with. And Robert Mitchum, for me, is one of the most underrated, great stars of classic films. He was such a presence. He was so seemingly laconic, but always so smart underneath it. He's malevolent. It's scary. It's beautiful. It's so sensitively directed. You're going to be fascinated by the suspense, the murder, and the mystery of the Night of the Hunter. Let's all go to the lobby. The popcorn can't be beat.